Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am R. Sri Ram. Hurricane Helen death toll in U.S. climbs to 200. Hurricane Helen's death toll in the United States reached 200 after the states of Georgia and North Carolina reported more fatalities. The updated death toll, double than what officials had previously reported, comes as the president visited storm-damaged areas in Florida and the vice president made a separate trip to Georgia on Thursday. Hurricane Helene, a thunderous Category 4 storm, unleashed some of the worst flooding in decades, sweeping away homes and cars and claiming victims across the southeastern U.S. Hundreds of people are still missing and more than a million remain without power a week after the hurricane made a landfall on September 26th. A massive search and rescue operation remained underway. The Vice President visited the city of Augusta in Georgia, where power lines stretched along the sidewalk and utility poles lay cracked and broken. The Vice President paid tribute to those who had died in the disaster, while also seeking to project a tone of unity and hope for communities now facing a long road to reconstruction. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, the President flew by helicopter over toppled trees, twisted metals and towering piles of debris in the city of Asheville, where many roads remain inaccessible. More than half of the deaths were in North Carolina, where several feet of fast-moving water destroyed entire communities. Hundreds are still missing, and officials have reported difficulties in identifying some of the dead. That makes Helene one of the top three deadliest hurricanes in 50 years, behind Katrina and Maria. At a plastic factory in rural Tennessee, workers continued their jobs as Helene's drenched the southeast. Eventually, workers were released and sent home, but it was too late for some. Raging floods swept away 11 workers and only 5 were rescued. Two of the missing have been confirmed dead, meaning 4 workers are unaccounted for. The number included about 3,92,000 outages in South Carolina, more than 2,60,000 in Georgia and just over 3 lakhs in North Carolina. Florida and Virginia each had around 30,000 outages. That's all for now. For more weather news updates, stay tuned with us on It's Tomorrow News. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you.